Hello everyone, it is Andrea and today I am coming at you with this week's new releases. These releases will be available Wednesday at noon Eastern. I actually just put up new releases for like last week, like it's Wednesday currently, but I'm filming this early because I want to get done. I want to chill this weekend. So uh, the new releases for last week just went up and we have almost sold over half, we've sold over half of the Print Prussian SPC Edit Planners. I just did a reel using all these cute little decorations and I am obsessed. I am so excited and I'm excited y'all are excited. So let's go ahead and get into this week's releases because we have two new exclusive arts, foil bundles, more kits, doodles, characters, things. Let's go from the top. First things first is we are due for another one of the kit labels. So these are perfect for your kit lineup pages this is the old format but I went ahead and made them smaller because you just peel them and throw them away so I figured getting more on the sheet and the sheet used to be bigger too it was like awkward sizing um so it's like more affordable now for something that you're probably going to throw away people might use these up for different reasons but you know this is the last there was one sheet prior to this and then this is the new sheet in the new format but this goes from February 6th through July 16th. It includes the monthlies on here and these will be available Wednesday at noon Eastern. We also have the color of the week and the color of the week is available through Sunday. It is the normal 12 sheets, but we will be adding sheets soon. I actually should release some doodles this week, but I think I'm going to release them next week. I think that's what I'm going to do because there is so much going on this week between the foil bundles, the new, ah, you know what? You know what? Let's go, let's go wild and crazy and we'll release some doodles too. But um, we count 10 out, but yeah, there is going to be the color of the week, which this is, I think the final color of the week that y'all picked. And it's like a really, really light gray, almost white color. So this is the normal 10 sheets. So you have sheet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. There will be a buy all option, which is like, I think like getting a sheet or a sheet and change for free um, when you buy them on the buy all bundle but this I feel like it's probably gonna be one of the top sellers because it will literally match any spread any spread at all because it is basically white so that is the doodle color of the week available from Wednesday through Sunday we also will have some new doodles let me count out to the even number so let's see save those so we have a lot I think I, I designed over 50 one day so this one here is a little swan cupcake perfect for marking birthdays or if you eat a cupcake so this is 583 I think two 582 and 581 were the stranger things ones so we're just gonna go up to the 10 like we usually do we have this cute little bow cake in the normal colorway this other little like bow cake let it's super cute perfect for marking Lila's first birthday a seashell candle a blouse, perfect for dry cleaning, doing laundry, getting dressed up. A lipstick in a heart, perfect for getting glam. I think I'm gonna use this for today because I did put my makeup on. I've been doing it like once a week for filming for my wax channel. This one's working or planning. So you have a little laptop, a coffee or hot chocolate or tea and a little planner or maybe it could be for studying. And then a little paper clip heart. So this could be for planning or anything office related or just used to mark something that you love that you need something a little bit more general for so we're going to release these doodles so we could get back to the normal 10 but y'all we got a thick stack that I did the one day so we're going to get back into the doodles and then like I said I think the next color of the week there's going to be 12 sheets so you're going to kind of see a preview of a lot of the doodles to come because they have not come out yet so those will be available as well there is two pop culture characters this week we have I believe 11 and Max from Stranger Things, I thought they were really cute. This could also be used to mark a nosebleed, and then she's just cutie, so. Adorable Action might use this for Jessica things, like marking like her birthday or something, and then also this kind of reminds me of Kirsten, so. Love those, we'll keep those in my collection despite the fact I don't watch Stranger Things. And then if you saw last week, I don't know if I have them near me, I did release the grandparents with the normal hair colors, so like the regular like one through six hair colors, but this is the grandparents with the gray hair colors and then also the eye color. It's like really hard to see when they're printed small, but like this one and this one like have slightly different eye colors. 
so but you could get any of the ones that like match the skin tone you want so there is fam one fam two fam three fam four fam five and fam six with the gray hair colors but if you missed it last week there are also the option if you want the like normal hair colors so you got options there the gray ones will match a lot though the next thing we do have is the foil bundles and it is the snow format if you didn't see the mystery reveal slight spoiler but this is in the ultimate mysteries the sparkly hollow snow this is a new format i did show in the mystery reveal a comparison to the old format but it will be coming in gold and sparkly hollow if you guys like this i will bring it back next year in more foils i think it'll be really pretty in like lavender hollow champagne lights all the things but I just wanted to bring it in a couple this year since it's like a newer format. So you have these six full boxes here and then the glitter header overlays, two pages of those. You have the snow underlays, which are really nice, like tiny patterns to be able to see through all of the teeny slivers in your planner. Then you have the icons and the scripts and then the bottom washi, the fancy headers, the deco and the date numbers. So again, those will be available in the three foils. I think the sparkly hollow will be the most limited of them and they will be on special pricing for um wednesday through sunday so get your hands on those for all of your christmas and winter spreads next let's get into the art let's go through the non-exclusive art first but this is called sleigh bells and i love this i think foil options for this oh my gosh there's so many good ones i personally think it would go really pretty with copper because there is like the orange in there but I feel like you could also use rose, you could use gold, you could use silver, matte bronze, matte bronze, matte silver. Um, there's a lot of options. And there also is a mixed metal, hold on, what is it? Y'all have been asking for the mixed metal. And every time you ask for one, I'm like, it's already here. It's ordered. It's been ordered. We're getting it. And y'all are going to be excited. So I think this one, there's a matte bronze rose coming out that would be really phenomenal as well or a red I think would be really pretty even if you're just going to do like a different color foil on top or like a traditional rose would be rose gold would be pretty but I think if you did um like a red underlay and then did like a different color foil throughout or I think this would be another one that you could do the black bougie underneath an underlay because this gives me like modern like with the blacks in it vibes so let's go ahead and go through it sleigh bells comes in a mini and an ultimate like all of the kits do this week so let's go ahead and give her a, a little flip this is so pretty I love the snow that's the one thing that I miss about like I don't miss it but like kind of the alter the freebie is the alternate skin tone of this box here um in the ultimate mini but i miss the idea of snow like seeing it so just like just in the windows and it's like that cozy feeling that's the only thing i miss every once in a while we get snow in texas but not like not a lot extra boxes these colors are so pretty they remind me of kirsten because i feel like kirsten like anything with this green and like a red is just very kirsten energy i think she said she might be using this one um, you have your extra box here, which is the Netflix and the hot cocoa and the like the little feetsies. And then you have the 15 millimeter strip, which I love that like Christmas tree on there. Oh, it's so, so pretty. I think, oh, another one this would look really good with. Maybe y'all were thinking it. Champagne lights. Just saying. Ooh, gold champagne lights in the middle. That would be a vibe. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. So ultimate and mini. Add-on options, you have the doodles, the functional, the fashion, the label, label two, and ombre heart checklist. Sorry if you hear Lila in the background, but she's doing her thing. The next we have in here is a highly, 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 highly requested pop culture movie kit, and it is Polar Express. I am going to be completely honest with you. I don't care about the, the Polar Express. It is not a movie that I like. I think the animation is like horrible, but I know so many people like it. Like Hannah like freaked out when I told her I was doing a Polar Express kit. It is so highly requested. So exclusive art, I am obsessed with the art and I might actually use it because I like the kid elements. So I think that that's cute. So you have the train itself. You have like Santa and his reindeer. You have the kid, I don't even know his name. The conductor, is that like Tom Hanks? possibly a little hot chocolate gifts the little elf boots little candles the kids heads there i love these colors they're just very classic christmas and if you want to see this up against the red and green foil bundle 
in case that's an option. It is a slight misfit, so it does have a slight discount on it. But I love these colors. And then you have the movie marquee in there. I tried to do like a faux gold look for it. So it's like a little North Pole and says the Polar Express. You have Santa Claus and then the girl. I don't know her name because, again, I don't think I've ever watched this in full. Maybe I should this year. I will watch it with Bennett. He'll probably really like it. I love these patterns. The little ticket window. And then the bottom washi with the Christmas tree, which I just feel like is an energy. And then there is also like slight star. It's like very faint in the bottom washi pattern. And then the freebie and the ultimate and mini is the boy in his little pajamas in front of the train. So if you wanted to not use the boy toys, you could always just use this as well. Put a quote overlay. Put it inside of a flap. Like maybe put him in the top corner. And then put this this way so that it like flops open. I think it'd be cute. So adorable. And I just love these colors. I might have to steal these colors for a Christmas kit exclusive for next year. Because I am just so obsessed with them. I think they're fun. They're like bright but like not. Like kind of muted bright. Functional ombre doodle label label 2. And then this one actually has like extra boxes. So if you want to add it on. Um, you have like the conductor outfit with the like lantern and the bell and then the little Santa hat. I love this box with the um, like the train clock and then you have the double box scene of the kids with all of the presents. So thought that was cute. There was just so much art that I was like let's do some extra boxes for this because I can. So mini kit also but I'm excited to hear what y'all think about this. As far as foil goes you do have the red and green that I think would be really cute with this. Um you could also do silver. You could do gold. I think the gold and champagne lights. You could do the... You could do something like this, I think. This could also be like a winter kit, I think, if you wanted to use it in January if you have too many Christmas kits. But I feel like using something like this, like the gold um, snowflakes, and then pulling in some of the Christmas a la carte, which is why I did those. So you could kind of like pull in a couple of elements and then mix it with the snowflakes to give it a vibe. And then I remember I was talking to Maddie and she wanted to use Seasons Creepings for her friend's birthday. I don't remember if her birthday is in October or December. But anyways, and I was, she was like, what, what like foil color? And I was like, well, I think I would use like Sparkly Hollow Snow. I think that's what I said. Sparkly Hollow Snow and then pull in some of the Sparkly Hollow Halloween um, a la carte to like pull in and it kind of like mixes and matches perfectly because they're the same foil color and then it has like both of those vibes so for me I would probably but I think silver would look cute too um, or red or the red and green or like a navy or a green it honestly this one doesn't really have a wrong option you could even do red or the champagne lights with gold you could do champagne lights with gold and gold and then do red underlays would be really fun to bring in that red but I think there's so many options for this like there's no wrong one. There's that one that I used with the Santa Claus kit last year that was like the starry gold I think would look really pretty with this as well. So lots of options. And then last but certainly not least y'all is Lila's exclusive art first birthday kit and I am obsessed. I think a lot of y'all are probably going to want to use this for your own birthday, for somebody you know's birthday. And I will say there's going to be an alternative version coming out later that is not winter themed. I was just going to do add-on boxes, but there was just too many elements that like would need to be switched out. So this is the winter version of it. And there will be in the future a like just general version, not winter or Christmas related. So this is Magical Joy and I am obsessed with this. I think this is the cutest 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 birthday kit ever i'm obsessed i would use this for my own birthday i think kirsten's excited for it to be like her birthday week as well the same week as lila so obsessed again i will have like a version that is not winter this is very winter slash christmas theme but it's disney birthday this is disney winter birthday so love this you have snowflakes throughout you have a little snowman some christmas tree a gingerbread snowflakes here there everywhere lots of blues obsessed with this kit it gives me all the vibes and i could not be happier as far as foil goes i will likely use the sparkly hollow um magic winter the, the like snowflakes with the mickey heads in it for her birthday but I also have a collab with Hannah coming out 
that I don't know when y'all will see soonish that I might mix in some of that. And then I also might mix in some of the um, sparkly hollow birthday. I haven't decided yet because I feel like, I feel like the collab I have with Anna would be so perfect, but I also love the Mickey's spark. It's like, it's a hard, it's a hard one here, but they're both, I could get it in sparkly hollow. I have it in sparkly hollow, so I might mix. And then this. So again, like you kind of mixing these two together to get a more custom look some birthday elements, some like snowy Disney elements. So you can kind of get a vibe. And then I also have already put in the sleeve um, some of the Disney Christmas quotes. So you have options and they are all super cute. I think the light blue, I think there's a light blue foil in the shop. I think it's a twinkle possibly or a whimsical bow. Twinkle? I'm not sure. We look really cute with this. Rose would look really pretty with this um hollow maybe like a coral or just rose would be really pretty but I am obsessed with these colors you have a little like um popcorn and candy apple and a little flat lay of an outfit but I just love this kit so much it's like obnoxious so pretty your extra box here would be perfect for a quote box and then let me show you the freebie is like the Christmas one I think this was in like bright Christmas last year but I just recolored it because you have the perfect options for like Christmassy slash wintry items so that is the ultimate kit I am so excited to use this I will be using it for like I said Lila's first birthday and then it also does come in a mini kit I think this also would look really pretty with gold because there is slight gold and like brown elements in here that could make the gold pop more so that's something also to keep in mind like I don't think this looks bad. I think this actually looks really pretty. So now I'm struggling. But also maybe you want to use this one for somebody in December or January's birthday and then use the um use it with a gold like sparkle, like the gold champagne lights for with the other kit for a spring summer birthday. But also I think this is a really cute vibe. I think this pops against it, whereas the sparkly hollow is getting more just sprinkle and blend in this is like a nice I don't know now I'm struggling because I'm like trying to convince myself I don't want to use this but uh I actually really like the gold with it Ooh, we got we got some problems here and then we got a thick stack of add-on options we have oh I need to add there's no kit name on this but I'll add it we have the regular no the magical doodles we have the regular doodles we have the label sampler we have label sampler two which is this like more Tiffany blue kind of color I'm going to add it in. You have the functional, you have the ombre, and then you have the fam option. So that's what the fam looks like. You have a tall option and then like a really fluffy dress little kid and then a little kid wear, like holding a balloon. This is actually a custom for March mystery. She's not holding the balloon, but she's holding a different balloon. Um, but I just recolored it because I thought it would look cute. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then whenever this releases for the like non-winter version, there will be the same amount of options too. So you'll still have fam options and stuff for that as well. But they're so different. It's kind of like level up where they look like completely different kits, even though they're the same kits. And I think this even more so because it is very much changed. Like I said, I was going to just do the regular version and then do an add-on for winter. But as you can see, like there's like snowflakes throughout here. So the backgrounds would all be different. So I ended up just doing two kits, but I mean... I ain't complaining, you know what I mean? So that is everything for this week. I am, like, this is one of my favorite weeks, honestly, because I think any week with a lot of exclusive art is just so, so fun. And then new foil, new doodles, color of the week that I'm hyped to have because it's just going to match everything. I need to remember to grab extras of those, probably, like, three sets of extras, if I'm being honest. We have the new characters. We have the new kit labels so we can start planning out our kits for next year. And that, my friends is everything for this week's new releases it was definitely a longer video but i'm just so excited i hope you like them and i will talk to you in my next video bye